all right what's up guys I'm here with another out of box review and today I'm going to be uh, doing the review on the Ibex uh, T6A Texan 2 it is in 148 scale and I am doing this model for uh, my dad who is retiring from the military uh, here in less than six months and this is what he is flying right now and it has the decals for Randolph Air Force Base which is what he used to be based at and where he was based at and here is a preview of the back this is a new company uh, in Israel and they are So far, I am actually pretty pleased with the detail. So let's open her up and take a look. All right, so let's get started. First of all, kit comes with two vacuform canopies. I, I have never worked with uh, vacuform canopies, but uh, anyway, it's a good thing they gave me two, so I can, uh, in case I mess up, I can it again so two vacuum floor canopies which actually are not bad um, and here is the decal sheet okay they got a couple decals in there for the control panel uh, some other decals over there and they got some USAF decals along with RA, which uh, stands for Randolph. And then we got some more symbols and some squadron tags up there. And that stuff is for the Israeli uh, Air Force. And then they gave me some correction decals and uh, these decals actually look very nice much better than uh, academy decals i can tell you that much um, and then we got the plastic parts over here we got the bottom part of the wing the two wings and of course the gear openings here and here and then we got the right side of the fuselage and the left side of the fuselage and that looks like I don't know some pieces I can't tell you uh, I'm not exactly sure what those are um, and just some more pieces uh, next we got the top of the wings and some gear doors and other pieces there and that is the bottom of the canopy uh, not the canopy the cockpit and then we got the control panels there and some more pieces there like the, the front tire And then, let's see what else we got. We got the uh, horizontal stabilizers. And that's about it for those two pieces of spruce. And then, the kit also came with some resin pieces. Okay, we got the B2 uh, ejection seats. And then we got this uh, piece here, which I believe they go on the canopy. And we got uh, the two back tires. And then we got the two exhaust pipes. And then we got the cowling. Which 
which these all have very nice detail. And last but not least, the nose cone. And all those pieces look really nice. Alright, so let's go over the instruction booklet. Here, this is the first page with the assembly of the gear and the bottom of the cockpit. Then we got the decal placements for the control panels and somewhere on the cockpit and they actually give us uh, that I believe is the front uh, part of the cockpit and that is the back part of the cockpit some reference photos put in there then we got some pieces to the I believe is the bottom of the cockpit and then you got the top of the cockpit and the whole thing being put together with the resin seats and all that good stuff. Then we got the second page, which is putting the two fuselage halves together, the cowling and the uh, exhaust in there, and then you got the, uh, the gear and the horizontal stabilizers put in. And then we got the, uh, let's see here, got the wings. And then we got the propeller and how to paint that. And some more gear, landing gear stuff. And the bottom of the wings. And then we got the canopy and the pieces that go in there. I think I believe that's the one resin piece. And then we got uh, the whole plane put together right there. Alright, so here's the next page. Okay, we got the decal placement for the uh, US Air Force uh, scheme. And uh, the colors you should paint it. We got some more decal placements there. The different squadrons. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And that one's probably the one I'm going to use right there. Okay, then you got the Israeli decal placement and painting schemes, which is the flight school and aerobatic team. So then you have the propeller blades, the pat, and then they show some pictures of the sprues. Now they are labeled out and the resin pieces. Okay, and that's it. So overall, on a scale from one to 10, um, I'm gonna rate this one probably an eight. Uh, it could use some work. Yeah, let me see if I can get this thing to focus. There we go. Uh, I mean, it can do some work. I mean, this nose cone here, it's got some problems. Let me see. Now it's gonna be hard to see. Right there. Let me get the focus. Let me see. Yeah, you can see some problems in there. Let's see if I can point it out to you. Like right here, there's a little chip in the resin piece, so that's gonna have to be, uh, need some filling. And I uh, don't know exactly the panel lines are a little shallow and not as deep as I would like them to be. So, anyway, that is the Ibex. T6A Texan 2 uh, 148 scale so anyway thanks for watching guys uh, this is probably gonna be the last video until January of 2012 and um, 
I'm going to give you a quick little channel update right now. Um, I am not going to be able to, do, to participate in the Millennium Falcon build. I'm just not going to have time to. i got to finish my uh, Helldiver and get that done. So, not going to be able to participate in the Millennium Falcon build. But let's go my attic. So, um, anyway. Uh, just a quick little channel update there. And, but of course, I will uh, build the Millennium Falcon later on.